I know what you're doing, Mia. Hey guys, it's Wenji. Welcome back and Mia hug. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do some DIY makeup. These turned out so well that I was surprised of myself at how nice they were. Although I did try some really bad recipes online, which I didn't include, of course. But today I'm here to make a special awesome announcement. I'm so excited to announce this, like I can't even right now. I'm going to be collaborating with Lisa Frank and Glamour Dolls on an eyeshadow palette. Like, what? For those of you that have not heard about Lisa Frank, she is so amazing. She's like literally my childhood. And her art is all about rainbows, unicorns, colorful, like everything I'm about. Like her art is my aesthetic. But the most amazing thing is you guys get to be involved as well because you guys are my WenjiCon fam, and if I'm gonna work on my first huge collaboration, it's gotta be with you guys. So I really want you guys to help contribute to our creative, choose the colors with us, choose the designs of the palette. And we've partnered with Glamour Dolls and Makeup to make this come alive because they are a high quality, vegan, cruelty-free brand. Not only that, they make super affordable makeup because I want this collaboration to be affordable to everyone. And the great thing about this whole process is this was internationally available no matter where you are. Are, you can pre-order this palette. Want to get involved in the project and join me in this creative process? Don't forget to check the links out down below. I hope you guys are just excited about this project as I am. So without further ado, let's make some makeup. Let's go. Lip tints are so versatile and perfect for those casual days where you just need a pop of color. And guess what? So easy to make. You'll need aloe vera gel, food coloring, essential oil, and an empty lip gloss container. Take the amount of aloe vera gel equal to the amount of tint you want to make, and then add in your food coloring slowly. I'm using a mixture of pink and red food coloring for my tint, but feel free to make up your own unique colors. Keep testing your tint while you're adding in your food coloring and stop when you have the desired amount of tint. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory and hydrating properties and is also great for soothing acne. You can also add in a few drops of peppermint oil or honey if you'd like to the mix and you'll make it smell so much nicer. Now transfer it into your lip gloss container. Your lip gloss container may have a really small opening so you may need to use a syringe to fill it up. Leave a gap at the top because your applicator will take up some space and you don't want it to spill over the top. And that's it! Lip tint is complete! This tint was so amazing swatch and it's such a beautiful cherry red colour. Tints are generally a bit drying even with the aloe vera gel so it's best to wear it under a gloss or lip balm. I love this colour so much and it really made my lips look so amazing. This contour powder smells divine and you can make it from ingredients that you can find around the house. You'll need some cocoa powder, cornstarch, essential oil, and an empty compact if you want to press it in. Simply add cocoa powder into a bowl and mix in cornstarch until you find the shade you like. The cornstarch helps lighten the color, so if you have paler skin, you'll be adding more of this. The alternative is to use some baby powder instead of cornstarch. At this point, you can just use it like a loose powder or you can add some essential oils in to make it more of a cream contour. I added around 10 to 15 drops and this will give it a smoother texture. To make it easier to press into the compact, I added some rubbing alcohol until it became a paste. The alcohol will help disinfect your makeup and it'll evaporate by the time you end up using it so you won't be getting it on your skin, don't worry. Spoon the paste into the compact and pack it down. We've got chances, so much time to give. I added a folded napkin on for texture and pressed down using a round foundation sponge to make sure it was completely packed down. Let this dry naturally or with a hair dryer if you want to speed things up. That's it, your own DIY custom contour. The color ended up being pretty dark as you can see, but once it was blended into my skin, it created a nice cool brown contour. 
I wouldn't say this is comparable to a store bought one, but it's definitely fun and great to make in a pinch. Time is running out, do the sparks keep closing in? I personally love cream blushes because my skin is kind of dry and the texture just gives you a perfect rosy glow. So let's make our own. You'll need some crayons, coconut oil, beeswax and an empty compact. I lit a candle underneath my bowl to make this but you can also use a double boiler. First of all add half a teaspoon of beeswax and two teaspoons of coconut oil. The more beeswax you put in, the harder the cream and less you put in, the softer it'll be. You can also replace beeswax with sheer butter as well for a more mousse-like feeling blush. And if you can't find beeswax, you can just omit it altogether. Peel off the paper off your crayons. I picked a red crayon and a pink one, but you can choose any color you want. Break them into pieces to make it easier to melt in. Now start adding the colors in bit by bit. The more crayon you add, the more pigmented the color of your blush will be. I ended up using about 3 quarters of the red and 3 quarters of the pink for mine. I'm obsessed with watching them melt all together, it is so satisfying. Now pour your mixture into the empty compact case and tap it lightly to ensure that it's flat. Put it aside to set. It ended up creating this super adorable marble swirl when it set and I am obsessed with this. When I swatched it, it was the prettiest color. It was so glowy and natural looking as well. This is perfect for anyone with dry skin and can give you a vibrant, natural, healthy glow on the go. I simply love this. I was so amazed when I found out you could DIY your own gel eyeliner. This took a bit of trial and error to get the recipe right because I like my eyeliner to be super pigmented, so here is mine. Also, this is perfect for those that have super sensitive skin or love to try natural makeup that don't have the chemicals you'll find in store-bought versions. You'll need activated charcoal tablets, aloe vera gel, coconut oil and a small tub to store your goodies. I used a mortar and pestle to finally grind my activated charcoal tablets. The finer it is, the smoother your eyeliner will be. You can also find capsules with the charcoal already ground up in them. You can find these in the drugstore because it's used to cure flatulence. Also, you might have seen me use this to widen my teeth before and yes, it actually works. Add one teaspoon of aloe vera gel and now take the tiniest amount of coconut oil, like I mean tiny, otherwise it'll be an oily mess, which happened to me the first time I made this. Add two to three teaspoons of activated charcoal and mix. Now you want to keep an eye on this formula and keep adjusting it and testing it along the way. The aloe vera makes it a gel and the coconut oil makes it glide on smoothly. And the more charcoal you mix in, the more pigmented the liner. Keep adding more charcoal until you get a paste-like consistency. If you accidentally add too much powder and it gets too dry, don't worry, just add more aloe vera gel and so on. If the formula isn't smooth enough, then just add a tiny bit of coconut oil until you get your ideal smoothness. Once you're happy, transfer it into your little tub and that's it. Super easy, right? I was so happy with the formula after I swatched it. Look how pigmented it is. Oh my gosh. However, it definitely applies better on dry skin than oily skin. So if you have oily lids like me, this formula will definitely slip off in an unflattering way. Maybe less coconut oil for oily litters, but still excited that I actually made this eyeliner. How cool is this? Forehead rested on my knees. DIY lip balm is so simple and the great thing is you can fully customize it so you'll have your own unique scent and colors. You'll need some coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E, EOS container and a lipstick of your choice which is optional but super fun. First, melt 2 teaspoons of beeswax into a double boiler. This not only helps you keep the balm solid enough for the EOS, it also has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. Next, add 2 teaspoons of coconut oil and melt it together. Coconut oil can also help heal chapped lips while keeping them moisturized. 
add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil, which you can either get in a loose or in capsule form. If you'd like, you can add some peppermint oil or a drop of essential oils for scent. It's really up to you. Then finally, add a tiny bit of any lipstick to give your balm a beautiful color. This is a great way to use lipsticks that are too bold that you hardly wear them out. And of course, the more you add, the stronger the tint will be. Let it all melt over the double boiler and watch it to go. Deconstruct the EOS by prying the middle bit out with a knife and it should look like this. Now take the middle portion and screw it into the top piece. Now pour your mixture into your EOS until it just covers the middle grate and pop it into the fridge to set. Once it's set, simply click the bottom back on, then open to reveal the prettiest lip balm ever. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous, I am in love. I tried swatching this and it's pretty clear because I only put the tiniest amount of lipstick in. It totally reminds me of something a unicorn would want to use to keep their lips on fleek. And now you can just pop it into your bag and make sure your lips are on point and moisturized wherever you go. Can't get enough, can't get something new today and maybe you guys want to try these recipes yourself at home don't forget to join me on our first ever journey to make a makeup palette so happy to have shared this first major moment with my fam this wouldn't be possible without you guys and your support so thank you so much Please click the link down below to the Kickstarter project or you can pre-order on the Glamour Dolls website. Once you've done that, you guys can be involved and see all the behind the scenes of how we made it and having you guys' help would be so amazing. If you guys want to make any of the things I share in the video today, don't forget to share it with me on hashtag WendyCoins. I'm going to wish you guys so, 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 so much. And until then, we'll have another video. Bye! Love you!